really, really delicious. When we were down in South Georgia, I found this big bag of green beans. They're, they're called Pick Five and they come out of Birmingham, Alabama. And a lot of the grocery stores carry this brand. So we're gonna make some green beans today out of frozen green beans. And I'm gonna show you how I do that. And I'm gonna cook half of them at least. I mean, there's no reason for me to cook the whole bag when we've only got four people living here. So the first thing I'm going to do is rinse them. Just because they've been frozen and I don't want that old freezer taste in there. Now we're going to put water in there and I'm gonna use some oil. This is olive oil. You can use any kind of oil you want to, including baking grease if that's what you like to cook with. I just don't like to cook with it. And um, instead of using salt, I think I'll put a little bouillon in here. So put a good bit of water in there. <laughs> Y'all hear a potato in my microwave in some water sounds crazy this is a beef bouillon and we're just going to put in one beef bouillon into our green beans to make them taste good too we're going to get these on the stove top and bring them to a boil going to bring them to a boil so I'm going to put the lid on them so they'll come to a boil quick and that it would keep me less blustered during the video. We're going to put this lid on there until they come to a boil and we're going to cook these a long time today so get ready for a long cook. Oh and while I'm at it I'm going to throw a little bit of ham in there. I got some ham in my freezer that was from uh, sometime probably around Thanksgiving or Christmas where I just saved some of the ham to go in beans and stuff. So I'll put a little bit of that in there. All right, the beans are cooked almost all the way down. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add just a little bit of sugar to them. Got a teaspoon and a half. A little more oil. Not a lot. And then we're going to let these caramelize. They're done. They're good and done. They just need to caramelize. So if you cover them good with water and you let them cook all the way down, uh, they're going to be done. It's not going to take that long to cook, to cook them. And they're going to have a good flavor if you let them caramelize. So we're going to let it sizzle. We're going to let them cook all the way till there's no water left. Let them sizzle a little bit and caramelize and then um, they'll be ready. You can see this brown that's around the edge of the pot. We never um, you serve these. You want to make sure and deglaze that. You can pick up your beans actually and rub it off of them to get the flavor into the bean because it makes a big difference in how they taste. So while we still got a little bit of water, we'll go ahead and deglaze the sides. You want all that good flavor in your beans. No juice left, and now the beans are starting to kind of stick to the bottom, and they're really ready. It's gonna be delicious. Let's taste them. 
we'll turn it off. So we wound up cooking these about an hour. About how long they boiled. really really delicious i hope y'all enjoy these beans and make some thanks for watching colored valley cooks where we cook like mama did